G'day, it's Blue Boy Brendan here with my mate James. And James is an expert on everything outdoors, so that's why we've gone to him. We're going to talk to him about temperature ratings for sleeping bags. James, what do you know about sleeping bags? Well, most sleeping bags that are worth their salt are going to be rated using the EN or now the ISO testing standard, which establishes three numbers that you can use to choose the right sleeping bag for the conditions that you're going to be hiking in. Cool, man. So what's this first one? It says comfort what's that so all three of these numbers assume that you're going to be wearing a layer of thermals and socks the first number is the temperature at which in a relaxed body position you will be comfortable so like when you just like lying straight pretty much in your, in your natural sleep uh, so like position yeah yep yep cool um, that used to be called the women's rating right yeah, in the EN testing, they use gender to differentiate between people who are cold sleepers and warm sleepers. But I think everybody knows whether they sleep warm or cold, and it's not really so much to do with gender as it is to do with just thermal mass, just how big you are. And I, I sleep warm, Brendan, like a little twig, and he gets cold very easy. <laughs> That's right. Um, so these new standards, the ISO standards, are general, gender neutral, right? Gender neutral, just Ooh. like 2019. Yeah, baby. <laughs> okay, so what about this one? What's the T limit? What's, what's all that about? So this is really the lowest temperature that you might be able to use the sleeping bag at. With a, with a layer of thermals, at minus one, you're gonna start to feel a sensation of cold, and you're gonna need to be sleeping in a fetal position to reduce your surface area to volume ratio and keep that heat inside. Mummy, keep like me little, warm. Like a little ball. Like a little baby. Yeah. Yep. And uh, lastly, what's this T extreme? So the lowest rating is what they expect you to survive at for four hours. Now, four hours isn't the whole night, but the coldest period of the night is generally towards dawn. And uh, you should be, in this sleeping bag, you should be able to survive four hours at minus 16. But I also read that you may have some frostbite on your fingertips or toes, but, you might, but you'll but you probably survive. Well, the wording of the... Uh, <laughs> The uh, standards uh, suggests that a strong sensation of cold may be felt, and uh, <laughs> uh, that could possibly be understatement of the year. Man, that means my my fingers are falling off. That's what it will mean. You will survive, but you might get might frostbite. Minus a finger or yeah. a hand or a toe. Yeah, you you Can might get those uh, freezing extremities. So if you are a cold sleeper like me, I should probably be using that one, right? Yeah. Well, all of us are going to use these two numbers to try and figure out where we are in that range. For Brendan, he's gonna look at the, using this sleeping bag under warmer conditions, but I personally have used this sleeping bag down to really quite low temperatures, and uh, as long as you're prepared to add some layers and to ball up into that fetal position, oh, yeah. you might be okay. Yeah. Cool, man. Thanks for educating us all. Appreciate it. Blue Boy and James, out. Mash subscribe, mash like, mash... <laughs> <laughs> That's what I, I say I, these I, days. I, I don't. I don't do that.